Hello guys, uh, this is War and today uh, our exercise uh, is a problem on uh, long division and uh, we only divided this number to 25. Uh, the way uh, long division work, uh, we begin from left to right. So, uh, we begin with the number, the first number, and then we see if we can divide it to a uh, number on the left. Uh, if if that less, uh, we try the second number until we got the whole number, we can uh, be able to divide it to uh, 25. So, in some cases, you see it zero on the left and sometimes we just see the number is on the so and sometimes they say how can it go to zero so what we have here is a one seven five two zero and we will begin with number one see if we can divide with one to twenty five and one is less than 25 so we cannot divide it that's all greater so it's less so so we try one divided 25 is is less than 25 we put zero seven divided 25 is less so we put zero but if you see it's five we became 175. So that's mean. That's mean we have 175 divided 25. So if we try 5, it'd be less. Try six would be less also because six times five is thirty, and six times uh, two is twelve, which is one fifty, and we have more than that. So that's mean uh, the number after that is the seven, because seven times five is thirty-five. Five, and you count three. Uh, seven times this. It's 14 uh, plus 3, you got 17, of, which is 175, so we got it right. And when you subtract 175 from here, you got 0. And if you divide the 0 to 25, you got 0. Because we know the rule, what number you divide it to 0, you got 0 which is 25 divided this one, we got 0. So we got 0 on that. And 1 uh, multiplied to 25, you got 0. So when you have a 0, you're going to bring 2 down. So you have 0 and 2. So if you divide it 2, to 25 you're going to get 0 because it's less than so you're going to bring 0 down from here and you got 20 20 divided 25 you, can, you could not so you bring 3 down you become a 200 or 3 and 200 it can be divided to 25 because 200 is greater than 25 so, if we have 175 is 7, so this one should be 8. And if you, 8 times 5 is 40, so you put 0, and 8 times uh, 2 is 16, plus 4, you got 200. So, our answer is right. So you subtract 200 from uh, 203, so you're going to be left with 
Therefore, you already have three, so you're going to bring down, or you drop two down. So you're going to have 32, and 32 is greater than 25, so it can be divided. So we're going to have one, and it's, so it's 25 minus 32 is going to be remaining seven. So the way we see it, so we have seven, uh, seventy thousand, eighty one, and remaining. So we should type R seven. And if you want to know if we got it right, it should be seven, uh, seventy thousand, times eighty one, uh, times seventy five, and you should get. Uh, 175 to 0, 25, and then plus 7, which is remaining. You should get 175 to 0, 32. That's all you need. So the answer should be on the top, and you may not need those 0, but it show you where we begin uh, subtract the, the thing. So you, so seven should be in this exactly, and those are zero because you begin divided, but this it was less than twenty five. Seventeen is less than twenty five, but one seventy five is greater than uh, twenty five, and that's when we begin divided uh, one seventy five to twenty five, and we got zero. Uh, we bring the zero down, and then we bring two. And we bring zero, we got 20, 20 divided, 25, we cannot, is less. And then we bring three, we got 203. And we put eight, it give us 200. And we subtract 200. So the step we do here and we repeat it, we call, we, the first thing we do, we divide D. So keep this in mind. We multiply, because multiply 0 to 25, we got 0, and then we subtract, and then we drop. So keep those in mind as a rule, as you solve type of the problem. We divide it, we multiply, we subtract, we drop. The drop, that's what I'm, I was doing. So uh, this is four step you should do. You should do when you're solving this type of the problem. So this one should should come in mind. And the way we do it, we trying to solve one by divide one to twenty-five is less. So we say zero uh, seven uh, divided to twenty-five is less. So we say zero and then five. So we say one seventy-five is greater than twenty-five. So it can be divided. And we keep dropping like. We see, we, we divide it like we did, multiply, subtract, and drop it. So the answer should be seven, uh, 70, uh, and, and then 81, and the remaining is 7. So this is how you solve it. If you have issue, uh, let me know. So let me add a uh, simple uh, answer, uh, not simple problem, and we see... Uh, how we do. So let's say we have just one 175. And let's say number five, no, let's say four. And see what we got. So if you have 175 divided to four, what do you get? So the first thing we do, as I said, we divide one because we try to see if we can divide the 1 to 4. So the 1 is less than 4, so we say 0. And we say 7 divided to 4. Yes, 7 is greater. So, but we ha now we have 17. So it became 17 divided to 4, which is what we have here. So 
we know 4 times 4 is 16, so it be 4. And we subtract. So we're going to subtract 16 from 7, uh, 17. We're going to have 1. And then we have 5. Like, so the way we say it, we say division, multiply, subtract, and drop like what we're doing right now. So you have 4 and we still have 15. 15 divided to 4 is greater than 4. So it would be 3. We know 3 times 4 is 12. So we subtract the remaining R, which is, should be R3. And that's... Uh, that's uh, our solution for this problem. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. Uh, you can find me Facebook somewhere. Uh, thank you for your uh, to be here today. Thanks.